Hello, in this video I'll be explaining how we increase the engine oil temperature in our RV7. We were previously getting about 150 degrees Fahrenheit which was not warm enough to drive off moisture to prevent internal corrosion during winter operations. You can see here in this picture how we blanked off the rear face of the oil cooler with aluminium foil tape in order to reduce the cooling effect. To check the sensor was reading accurately we compared ambient temperatures with a thermometer in the oil sump and all were reading about 51 degrees Fahrenheit before engine start. After engine start the oil temperature rose to about 130 degrees in the 15 minutes prior to takeoff. You can see here with the solid orange line how the oil temperature increases as I'm climbing out. The dashed orange line is a previous flight, a uh, slightly different uh, profile, but it shows the oil temperature that we got before blanking the oil cooler. About 10 minutes after takeoff, I'm now cruising at 3,300 feet. The oil temperature has reached 178 degrees, which is close to the Lycoming desired temperature of 180 degrees. Cruising here at 3,300 feet, the oil temperature has reduced a little bit to 174, which is still about 25 degrees warmer than it was without the oil cooler blanked. Um, you can see also the ambient air temperature, which is the grey line, is about 43 degrees. I'm now starting a cruise climb up to 8,000 feet with an airspeed between 90 and 100 knots. At the top of the climb at 8,000 feet the oil temperature has peaked at 187 degrees but it's still well within the green band and the outside air temperature is now 39 degrees. After about 5 minutes cruising at 8,000 feet, the oil temperature has come down below 180 degrees. I'm now making a steady powered descent back to base uh, with an airspeed of about 150 knots and you can see the oil temperature dropping down to 162 degrees uh, and it stays in that region for the remainder of the flight. I'm now safely back on the ground at base and following this test flight we concluded that blanking the oil cooler gives us the desired oil temperature increase and we're now planning to fit a solid aluminium plate as a more permanent solution for, for winter operations. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions and thanks for watching.